One of the most significant challenges about deploying the SRM catalog is how do I accelerate my onboarding effort? When we look at the detailed request process, it's a matter of figuring out the request requirements and the design and translating that into the actual offering. Handing this offering off to a developer quite often will involve 2,000 plus mouse clicks because of the numerous objects that are involved. This can be very time consuming per service request offering. With effective transport, there's a better way. You can quickly streamline and accelerate your onboarding effort, savings upwards of 45%. Next, we'd like to talk about the challenge of onboarding a complete service request management catalog. In this example, we see that we have an empty catalog from a user perspective, that there are no current service request offerings that are deployed and active. And if we look from the admin's perspective, just to show you this catalog is empty with the exception of the default service request offerings that are created when the solution is installed. So we're starting out with an empty SRM catalog and we're going to go ahead and very rapidly and quickly onboard 30 plus service request offerings. Now how we got to this point is a developer has taken the best practice transport data templates, loaded in the various aspects of that uh, requirements data that you've gathered in your SRM workshops and now you're ready to quickly load that in. And this can be done in an iterative process. It's not just a one-time load. So as changes come in, it's very easy to roll in updates. The onboarding console that we see here is the primary interface for the day-to-day -day transport admin as they go through the task of loading data, whether it's ITSM, seem to be people, or SRM as our focus is today. You would go in and um, select the appropriate mode, whether it's project or maintenance. The company, or I'm sorry, the customer, and then once you have the customer, you'll select the appropriate project. In this case, we're dealing with SRM, so that'll be our focus. You'll see your current tasks that are assigned to you, as well as all the automated and manual journal entries that are created for this project. So if I wanted to look, I can see who else is working on different activities and expand the view, or quickly just look back at what's assigned to me. Now there's different aspects here of the import, the transport, and the promote. We'll just focus on the import as a one-step process to get the data in. The transport is used quite often when you're going to import in the staging, review the data, and then transport it into the target application. Promote is used to uh, move the data via DSO to remote app, um, server. So we'll go ahead and go down to SRM data. To this point, we've already loaded all the required ITSM foundation data, support groups, assignment rules, approval rules, and so on. What we want to focus in this aspect is the core SRM data that's required to deploy an offering. Now to save some time here, I've already gone through and preloaded a lot of this data just to save time and quickly get to the service request definition. So we'll go ahead and quickly uh, skip down to that because I've already loaded all the previous data that's required and in the context of loading this, we have different activities that relate back to the project. If your process dictates that you go ahead and select the activity, you would go ahead in and pick the appropriate one for what you're currently working on. And you can even log your time. Currently, let's say I spent two hours today making some changes to the data load templates, and now I'm going to go through the load process. At this point, I'm ready to go ahead and load. I'm going to do a single step. Instead of just importing in the staging, I'm going to import and immediately move that data into the target application on my development environment. Now while this data is loading, we can actually watch it come in through the Service Catalog Manager's console. And we'll see as these service request definitions are created, they will go from a draft status to a deployed. As we can see, the service requests have all been loaded successfully from transport and we can see they're all actually deployed at this point. But Let's go back and re uh, verify the results in the onboarding console. We'll see that the refresh has come in, there's no errors that have been posted and if we scroll down through we will see that all of these loaded successfully. Now if one of these actually failed we could see the failure, what the error is, and quickly resolve it. So one great thing of transport is it allows you to correct these in line and reload very quickly. Now let's go look at the result from an end user perspective. We will see that we now have a fully deployed catalog with 30 plus service request offerings. 
several under application access, and we even include some samples that include also conditional questions that were created with the data transport SRM templates. If we look at these examples here, we'll see that we have conditional questions. that are fully functional. These were all created with the data load templates. So let's go ahead and create another request. We'll create a work order fulfillment so we, sh so we can illustrate how it's not just the front end but it's created all aspects of the service request offering. We now have this request that has been created. To validate that the service request created the fulfillment object, let's go ahead and look at the uh, work order and review this. So we'll refresh this and we'll find that a project initiation request exists. And if we were to view it, this is the one I just created a second ago, we'll see that all of my questions and answers are mapped into the notes field. The template was invoked to provide the proper classification of the request and the details tab with all of that was in the template for the labels has all of the data that was mapped into the details. So as you can see we very quickly and easily loaded a complete service request catalog in a matter of minor clicks and the ease of development was done through the uh, data transport template 